Hi, I'm Steve Wiggins. I grew up in a Christian home. My parents weren't really strong believers, at least when I was young. Uh, they used to drop us off at church and then they would go get donuts. And so they were used like the church as daycare. <laughs> so we kind of grew up with the culture of church, but not really strongly pursuing the Lord. And uh, when I was in college, uh, I was an athlete and I took uh, all my stuff from my room to college, but I also took my theology to college with me, which was, well, I guess we're all kind of like culturally Christians. And there was a guy on my team that had gotten like radically saved. And he was sharing the gospel with another guy on my track team. And I remember overhearing him sharing the gospel with this other guy and realizing that, you know what? I thought I was a Christian, but I realized that, I, that what he has is different than what I am. And so later that night, I prayed to receive the Lord. I was first introduced to Harvest Christian Fellowship because of the band that I had formed called Big Tent Revival. And we used to do all the crusade events. I believe the first event that we did was 1996. So then for the next like four and a half or so years, Big Tent Revival played pretty much every event that Harvest did. And we became friends, uh, friends of the ministry and then personal friends with, with Pastor Greg. And then one day I came here just to lead worship at Harvest, just for old time's sake, just to see friends. And John Collins said, would you be interested in coming to work for us? And the next thing we knew, uh, we packed up the truck and, and moved to Beverly, as they say. We moved out here to Riverside, California. So my title here at Harvest is Artist in Residence and Associate Worship Leader. So I do songwriting. I'm, of course, a worship leader. And uh, I teach with the Musicians Network. I think my greatest encouragement is, is, is to you to be people of worship and to continue to seek the word of the Lord and then to show up with anticipation so that when we start playing the music that just everything just totally resonates. And I think that's when God is the happiest and at the end of the day, that's really the one who we're trying to please. That's really the one who we're praising. And so, you know, the greatest challenge for me and I wanna put the exhortation out to you as well for us to be people of worship and then the songs of worship will be so much more meaningful. I'm Steve Wiggins and I'm here to serve you.